Located in a deep valley, Tbilisi is a city of contrasts. The architecture here marks a journey through the 18th and 19th centuries, with balconies on the homes to the unique Soviet structures, right up to the ultra-modern skyscrapers and bridges. The old is not overly polished either, to be honest. Unlike in many other cities that renovate to the point where buildings lose any sense of authenticity, and while that has happened to a limited extent here, especially in the section of the old town around the slopes of the fortress, huge portions of the city remain untouched by restoration projects. There are acres of tired, graceful old buildings with cracked walls, with the decades shown through the layers of fading and peeling paint. Small and large homes with leaning balconies and ancient wooden doors leading to courtyards, which date back centuries, right up my street. So welcome to the old town of Tbilisi. There's a lot of renovation work in the process, but still to this day, behind every door, there's a hidden surprise waiting to be discovered. This is probably the best example of a decaying entranceway here in the old town of Tbilisi. Uh, it's really hard to film in here, it's really dark as you can see behind me with the light fall off, so I've used the entranceway to film. Uh, really stunning entranceway, beautiful colours, I love the textures. So photography here is actually really difficult. My composition I actually aim towards these two doors that I'm standing in front of now. Above me here is an amazing skylight and I've got that light coming in towards the camera. I shot it on F8 on a tripod. I obviously tried to get the, straight, the lines as straight as I possibly could, but that was incredibly challenging, as you'll see with the final shot. So once I set up my tripod, I placed it in the centre of the room and kind of looked to try, try and line things up the best I could, which was, as you'll see, extremely difficult. The other challenge here was, of course, the light coming in above the door. It made for a challenge, but with some careful post-processing, you end up with a great result.
<laughs> Hello. Um, so yeah, we're here. This is the, the entertainment. I'm going to call it an entertainment hall, but it's actually an old theatre that's hidden in the heart of Tbilisi. Um, part of the dance company uh, building, so it is actually not accessible to the public, but it's a beautiful place nonetheless, and a place that I've now had the pleasure of photographing on numerous occasions over the last few months while being based here. Um, and this is one of the main spots that I've been pe bring people on like kind of one day walking tours of Tbilisi because it's a fantastic place to get away from the crowds and the hustle and bustle. So one of the things I'm going to quickly discuss while we're here is um, usually I shoot a building like this with a tilt shift lens, um, but I'm not going to do that right now because what happens if you haven't got one? I know they're expensive and I want you to be able to photograph this building as well and others like it obviously around the world. So one of the things about this building is when you first come in, it's massive. So you want to show scale uh, is one thing. So one thing you could do is put a person in the shot and actually shoot a shot where somebody's in it to show how large this building actually is. But the other thing as well is to eliminate some of that flooring and show the beautiful detail in the ceiling and that back wall. That's another thing we could do. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So one of the things we care about the most here, um, oh, I need a haircut, don't I? I'm gonna sort that out, I promise. Um, I'm really hot, <laughs> it's boiling in this building. And one of the things that I need to um, think about here um, in this building is actually the, the detail that we, we care about is actually right up here, high, high up in the ceiling and that nice detail of that sort of a halfway point, that beautiful wall with the two twin balconies. We don't care about this ugly floor, so we wanna try and get a bit of that ceiling and that wall in. Usually I'd use a lens like this, the tilt shift, like I say, and that makes things quite easy, as I can show you now. So basically, one of the things that I want to eliminate in this building is the floor. Um, so by raising my tilt shift lens, I can actually raise the front element, compose a nicer shot, eliminate some of that ugly, ugly flooring, and then actually shoot the bits that we care about. But what happens if we haven't got a tilt shift? Well, there's a way and there's a means. We haven't got a tilt shift. One of the things to bear in mind is we can actually still shoot a building like this. There's two things. Uh, first of all, it'd be great to be able to put a person in the shot. That would show the scale of this room. But the other thing to think about as well is in this particular building, because it's nice and square, we can do one of the all time don't do with architecture photography and that's shoot upwards. So if we actually shoot this upwards like this, once we jump into Lightroom, we can actually pull those brackets together and pull it upright and it'll get exactly the shot we want with less flooring and more of that beautiful ceiling. So, let me take those brackets and we'll show you. So I'm gonna shoot this again as normal. I'm gonna shoot this at F8. I'm gonna capture three brackets. My brackets are gonna be almost Right, one over, uh, one under, and three under, because it's really nice light in here, actually, beautiful light. So I'm gonna shoot that. As you see, my lens is actually aimed upwards. So let me just show you that in the back of my camera. Hopefully you can see that and bring that a bit closer. Just there, should do you. We're actually shooting upwards, and if I then focus and focus in towards the back of the scene. The rest of it should be in focus. So you can either focus in, in infinity or we can just focus actually onto that back wall. Um, and both of those should get everything in this room in focus. So that's the first thing to, to bear in mind. I'm just gonna make sure we've got everything as straight as we can. Just like that. I'm gonna put my level on just to make sure we are level. So tune in next week, and what I'll do is I'll show you what I'm actually gonna to do to edit these photos. Because obviously this week, we're looking around hidden to Basie. If I alone were down into an open grave Is there another way? Is there another way? And the nails pound Harder in the coffin like Come and be Hello, so um, welcome to the former Hotel London here in Tbilisi. 
This is now a residential apartment block, so I need to be respectful of that. There could be people coming and going. Uh, it's also a little bit noisy, so apologies if that does start up again. This is about the fifth take because there's actually drilling and building work going on all around us here. The roof has been getting repaired and so is the faculty outside. So it is quite noisy and we're right on a busy street as well, so a loud place. More noise, more noise, and more, and more. <laughs> Should have come early for this one, I think. Busy place, right? Uh, yeah, it's normally busier on a weekend. You normally get portrait shoots going on in here. Kind of photographers bring in wedding parties in to do wedding shoots. And also photographers like myself looking to shoot. Uh, Thankfully the drilling's now stopped, but loads of photographers turned up and this is the thing here, it's usually a lot of wedding parties, portrait shoots, video productions, but also photographers like myself looking to shoot something hidden or that looks you know, rustic or abandoned, um, which this isn't, this is a residential apartment block and we have to be respectful, but um, there's three compositions I want to get, first one with my tilt shift lens down at the bottom here, uh, shooting um, the bottom of the staircase, the light dropping in behind me here, and also one upstairs facing the back door and one pointing towards the front door. Hmm, okay. So, I've set up my composition. Uh, I'm actually choosing a, a composition where this wall here on the right is actually on the right hand side of my frame. I actually want that to be in my frame because I think it look really nice and sort of leads you into the staircase almost. So that's the first thing. I'm using the lens preview, uh, so I'm using the preview button on the front just to check my aperture to make sure the stairs are actually in focus. So I'm shooting F8, but I want to make sure that those stairs are actually right in focus there. So um, that's the main thing that I'm doing here now. Okay, that's the first shot. So basically I'm t and what I'm shooting here is a panoramic, so I'm shooting in the middle brackets, so the middle frame, um, so centred. I'm actually then going to shift the lens up to shoot the top and then I'm going to shoot the bottom as well, the floor, the beautiful tiles that are all decayed down here and all cracked. So it's F8 ISO 100 and it's doing three brackets, one in the centre which I've reduced to minus one, then I'm doing three under and one over. Um, and I'll combine those together and that's then the first shot of the pano. I'll then shift the lens to the top. Full blown down, just kicked off in here now. So it's gone from the obscene to the extreme. Okay, so the next location is the other side of the river. So we're talking in the east side of Tbilisi now, and it's a stunning old cinema, built in the early 1900s. How it survived, I have no idea, but it's an incredible example of the architecture that was in this area. Uh, there's a few interesting in terms of shots. There's not loads of shots to be had in here, and I personally think that the auditorium is a little bit too dark to shoot. Okay, so one of the first things we've got to do is we've got to choose some 
shot selections. So, and that's quite difficult in here because the light is sometimes difficult in the middle of the day. And not only that, it also means that some of the shots aren't particularly photogenic. It's not as photogenic as, say, the previous theatre that we were in. One of the first shots that I'm going to look to get here is of this ceiling just over my back. Sorry for the awkward position. You can see that here I've got to get my camera nice and low and kind of really like get it as low as possible. But the problem is I don't have a flip out screen on my 5DSR, so obviously can't see what I'm shooting. I love the detail and the decay of this ceiling, uh, but I wouldn't say it's the best shot in here, but it's certainly a good one. Let's grab it. Okay, so I think that the entrance hall is actually the best bit to take photos in. But there is an issue with lighting, and that is that if you come here any time other than golden hour, or, you know, towards the end of the day, you get this awful light coming in, spilling in through these front doors that are just behind me here. So obviously that's not great. We want to eliminate them, so we come in here later. Okay, so I've selected this shot here in the entrance hall. Now, so the thing about this place is, is the entrance hall is really tall, really, really high ceiling. So I'm going to have to use my tilt ship lens for this. Because what I'd like to capture is I'd like to capture a portrait image of this scene here in front of me, capturing a little bit of the roof, a little bit of the sides, but also the staircase that's just here in the foreground. So to use the tilt ship lens, what I'm going to have to do is place it in the landscape mode like I'm doing now, and I'm then just going to position it so I'm getting my tripod up as high as I possibly can. I'm then going to frame my composition. I'm going to grab the first of those images. So it's actually not straight. The, the thing about this building is, is it's pre-Soviet and it's not exactly uh, lined up perfectly. So I'm going to capture the first image. So the tilt shift lens is literally in the middle, flat in the middle. So it's like having a 17 mil shot here. So I'm going to grab three brackets. So shooting in live view, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shoot it on ISO 200 just to increase my shutter speed a little bit. I'm also then selecting F8, three brackets, two over the center two under and one in the center line. So literally three brackets spread out. So two stops of light spreading the exposure out. So that's just basically three shots. Manually focusing, because that's what the lens obviously does. And I'll capture those shots. The second set of brackets that I need is for the roof, getting in that amazing ceiling. So here on the lens, I'm literally just bringing it up, just avoiding that center line. So I don't want to go right to the very top. So I'm just bringing it to there. Checking my composition, all looks great. Obviously the camera's position here is staying straight the whole time. Shoot those brackets as well. So three brackets again. Okay. And finally, we're going straight to the bottom. Same again, I'm bringing the lens all the way down to the bottom here, avoiding it to go into the very, very, very bottom, making sure that the camera stays straight. And then finally, I'm gonna capture them last brackets. So again, three brackets, the brightest one is actually, because the floor is quite white, I just gotta make sure that it isn't too you know, blown out or overexposed, so protecting my highlights the whole time. Okay, so that wraps up today's video. I hope you've enjoyed walking through Tbilisi with me. Uh, yeah, if you've liked the video, give it a comment below, share it with a friend, maybe tickle the like button, but definitely hit subscribe. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.
Join me next week when we look at editing those photos from the theatre. Thank you.